Let's make 15,000 RPM from a 4,000 RPM brushed motor. It is 12 volts, so here I will use this power supply to test it. Next, this drill chuck will be connected to the shaft of the motor so that the reflector tape can be attached to it for RPM measurement. It's 4000 rotations per minute. So let's increase it to 15 or 16,000 RPM.
So finally the machine is complete. It's time to test it. Okay, so starting it. Count zero and here we go. Fifteen thousand RPM. Very high speed. Wow. Let's point it towards this plant. Whoa. So we can definitely use it for high speed air blowing purpose. So the second application is vacuum cleaning, which I will demonstrate with this dead and discarded vacuum cleaner. It's burned and jammed C burned commutators. So the motor needed a little bit oiling and as you can see that it is running smooth now. Let's take off the impeller for experimenting with my geared motor. So turning it on, let's hear the sound. Now the drawn current is 8.5 amperes and the supply voltage is 12 so making it around 100 watts which is 10 times less than a 1000 watts vacuum cleaner motor. And the suction pressure is going to be seen since it depends only on the speed of the impeller and it's not important which machine runs it. So for the final test I have attached this propeller to my geared motor. The size of the propeller is very small compared to that of the motor itself and also the weight of the motor is a lot like if I'm going to hold it you can see that my propeller is actually bending. So this is a 12 volts 42 amperes battery pack and my motor needs only 12 volts 22 amperes. So trying this now. This is a 24 volt, 20 amperes power supply to push my motor to extreme limits. Now it did not fly and I can only think of two reasons. First the weight, uh, the weight of the motor itself was very heavy and uh, the second one was that the propeller was uh, weak and it was bending as I showed you initially because of which I think the blades twisted enough to cancel the thrust that was created. Now I have another propeller, this one is 17 inches and uh, the older one it is 10 inches. I've already tried this one also but it did not work with this one because the torque uh, has been reduced since I have increased the RPM and both are inversely proportional. So I think I will have to get something in between the two like uh, 12 to 14 inches and then it should work and once it does then I'm going to definitely share it with you guys in one of my upcoming videos.